The turkey is gone. We're in the midst of an early Hanukkah, and Christmas and New Year's will be here before we know it. That's a lot going on on the calendar, and we have a lot going on in this first December edition of Bobcat Weekly. I'm Russ Eisenstein. It's tournament time for Ohio Volleyball. The Bobcats are off to Lexington, Kentucky to face Michigan State and hopefully the winner of Kentucky and Duquesne. The Cats have 27 wins. The Big Ten Spartans have 21. There have been five tournament wins to the program's eight previous NCAA tournament appearances. 2010 was the last one. Ohio beat Penn in three and lost to Duke in Durham. In 2009, Ohio nudged past Notre Dame in five and lost to Michigan in Ann Arbor. The first tournament win came in 2004 over Pittsburgh. Ohio then lost to Ohio State, but the Bobcats had their revenge a year later against the Buckeyes in the deepest NCAA run in program history. The Cats made it to the Sweet 16 by rolling past Alabama, and they ousted Ohio State in round two. Perhaps another deep tournament trip is in store. We'll have extensive coverage of Ohio volleyball in the NCAA tournament here on Bobcat TV. For the second straight season, Ohio basketball is off to a 6-1 start. The Bobcats' Royal flushed the Evansville Purple Aces 81-59 on Saturday at the Convo. Two seasons ago, the Sweet 16 year, the Cats raced out to a school-best 13-1 start. The loss was a close one at 7th-ranked Louisville. This year's loss was a close one to 10th-ranked Ohio State. Maurice Endor is the Mac East's Player of the Week. He had 23 points and 11 boards against Mercer, his first double-double, and at 8 points and 6 boards against the Aces. He hurt his ankle on Saturday, but it isn't as serious as it first appeared. Bobcat football has seven wins for the fifth straight season. After a 51-23 regular season closer over UMass on Friday at Peden Stadium, we all await the Cats' bowl of fate to see if Ohio will go bowling for the fifth straight year. Northern Illinois beating Bowling Green to the MAC championship game on Friday. Receiving another BCS berth is the key there. If they're in, there's a shot Ohio is bowling again. Cornerback Travis Carey took two interceptions back for touchdowns against the Minutemen and was named the College Football Performance Awards Defensive Back of the Week, a national award. Josiah Yazdani is the Mac East's Special Teams Player of the Week. He went three for three in field goal tries on Friday and hasn't missed a single kick, a field goal, or an extra point all year. Bobcat women's basketball played two in Puerto Rico and lost to UIC in number eight, Maryland. Cats lost 76-67 to the Flames and 84-60 to the Terps. Ohio is now 3-3. Three three. Here's the Bobcat calendar. Radio network coverage of Ohio at Oakland and suburban Detroit starts on Saturday at 5.30 with the tip at 6. The Grizzlies are 1-7. Their lone win came on Saturday against Rochester College. That'll do it for the weekly. For Tony Ermain, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.